In this video, I will show you how can you install the PHP MySQL and the Composer PHP Dependency Manager for in Windows. So I'm in Chrome. I have to install the gem, which is kind of the package of Apache, PHP, MySQL, and the PL. So I'm downloading for the Windows, which actually shipped with the PHP 7.1. It will take about two minutes okay it's downloaded successfully so I'll go to the download folder I'm double click on the jump installer okay the as as well whenever you try to install anything in Windows next 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 so we are selecting the gem inside the C folder I mean the root of the C folder so it will take a little bit of time to install A pop-up came up for the APC HTTP server it actually due to the Windows security alert so I'm ex allow access click on allow access now if I click on finish it it installed that's all now this is the jam control panel there is Apache which is my server MySQL which is my database and PSP also installed here so if I click on Apache if I start here now I can access localhost so th this is my localhost and it actually installed the by default the PHP my admin the visual tool for the SQL database as well no connection could not okay I actually didn't s start the MySQL if I start the MySQL that time okay it actually asking for the same thing the Windows firewall actually blocks some features of this MySQL. I'm allowing this thing. So if I reload this page, I think now it will work. Yes, it's working. This is my MySQL admin. So if I go to the install directory, which actually inside my this is my C folder, this is jam folder. So inside this PHP folder, my PHP all those files actually stay inside this PHP folder. And inside my stdocs folder, I will keep my this is actually my server root folder if I keep anything here suppose I make a folder here say hello so inside hello if I go and make a file say I'm creating a file say this is also hello dot txt so suppose I'm writing something here I am saving this hello world so so this is my location suppose I am copy this thing I am pasting here ok I am copying this thing I am pasting here so this thing actually my localhost localhost so this is the file hello world so this is my Apache server and if I go here under insert gem insert PHP this is the PHP folder and how about the MySQL this is the MySQL folder which actually reset insert this bean folder the MySQL command so generally if I open my CMD this is my CMD usually I want the PHP in my command line PHP which actually currently is not recognized even MySQL as well is not recognized so I have to actually add those PHP and MySQL path into my environment variable so this is my Jeff folder I, I go to PHP first so here actually my PHP things is reset if you go bottom this is the PHP exe file so I'm copying the 
this path of this PHP and I'm searching in my startup environment so here something come up edit environment variable for your account and this one is edit the system environment variable we actually change the system environment variable if I click here I go to the environment variable and this is the path so if I click on double click on path it actually open the new window where I'll give the new path so new path will be I'll just paste here this is the new path okay this is not not new path that will be the new path so I'm pasting here so this is for PHP so for the MySQL this is the MySQL which actually reset inside this bin folder so this is my MySQL command so I'm copying the MySQL location and I am pasting here so okay so PHP and MySQL added to my environment, environment path so I am close my CMD and open CMD again so if I write php hyphen b this is my php version php 7.1.1.1 so my php in my command line i successfully adding php in my path variable so how about the mysql so mysql so yes mysql as well i added to my path variable so i'm quitting mysql so the last one is so i'm testing the php suppose Currently, I'm in the use my follow the folder. I'm cd my desktop. This is my desktop. Suppose I'm making a folder. Say hello. So cd into my hello folder. So currently, I'm in my hello folder, which I'm just now created in. Just now. Suppose I'm creating a file here. Hmm. Before creating, I should. Hello. Okay, I'm. This is the view file name extension I, I check on I mean the it should be have the file name extension I mean dot txt so suppose I'm making a file say index dot php so open with say notepad So I'm writing PHP tag, say PHP info. I'm making, I'm calling this function, which actually shows all the PHP related data. So I'm in hello folder. If I make a PHP server, PHP hyphen S, say localhost colon 8000. So if I go here and open my localhost port 8000, okay, call to un okay, undefined function php info okay might be there is no php info like function or might be there is no space no underscore in between so i'm saving those thing again and scene okay so my php info so i i actually this the mini php server actually serve in my hello folder so this is for the PHP and MySQL. If you are using Windows 7, setting up environment variable bit different. Now, now I am going to copy PHP path which resides inside this jam folder. Now I am searching environment and click on edit the systems environment variables. It will open the system properties. Click on the environment variable. From the environment variable dialog box open path string by double clicking path at the end of the path string add semicolon and paste the php path and like php i will copy the mysql path from the mysql bin folder and paste in the path string okay now i am open up my command prompt and type php flag p for knowing the php version and 
to log into MySQL, I am typing MySQL user root. So PHP and MySQL added to my environment variable successfully. So now the new thing is called Composer, which is actually the PHP dependency manager. Okay, if I I'm go to Composer, after go to Composer, you actually shouldn't go to the download. Instead of download, it actually the different way you will download. I, I'm going to the getting started page. So in, after getting started, there's something called installation windows. You click here and you will download this composer-setup.exe file. So my composer installed, I double click on this. Okay, this is not expected file. This is the composer file. Okay. Take control, just install composer. And install will not be included. Okay, here one thing you have to remember. I actually, it actually the adding the PHP. I have to, I I have to the show the PHP path here. So currently it's automatically actually getting the my actual PHP path, which actually the under jump under PHP directory. But if you installed your jump in the different directory, you have to actually manually choose your where actually your PHP resides. Suppose in in my case, it's already getting it will be jump inside this php folder inside this php and this is the php executive file so now i'm showing the php path and then next it don't take much time next next okay my composer actually now installed successfully so i'm closing my cmd and open cmd again so if i type composer so all the composer related things actually showing here this is the composer in order to install any package we actually the require package requires will be available here this is the require you know in order to remove any package remove to create a new project we actually use the create project to removing a cache we generally use clear hyphen cache or clear cache for dumping autoload we using the dump autoload function that is the damp autoload or dump autoload the both thing dump 5 and autoload is working same so that's all i think now you can install any package from the packages.org even you can create a laravel project as well all the psp package actually you will getting from the here the packages.org That's all, thank you.